Hey and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to set up a WordPress instance on your existing VPS. I definitely recommend checking out our blog post which will be linked in the description. There you will find a step by step guide as well as all used commands and config templates. Requirements In order to install WordPress you need root access to a server with a Linux based operating system on it as well as a domain already connected to your server. In this video our VPS MSSD runs Debian 10. Some commands may vary on different operating systems. Before we start with the actual installation, I will log in as root onto my server and use this command to check if there are any updates available. Installing PHP 8.2 For WordPress to run at all, PHP is required. The official requirements of WordPress are PHP 7.4 or higher. In this guide we will install the latest PHP version, namely PHP 8.2. Because the PHP repository isn't included in Debian 10, we need to add it manually. This can be done with these five commands. After the repository has been added to our server, we can continue by actually installing PHP 8.2 with this one command. Now PHP is installed and we can continue by configuring our PHP version. To do so, we need to adjust the PHP ini, which is the config file of PHP. Open the config with this command. These parameters need to be changed. To make the process of finding the correct value easier, I will press Ctrl plus W to open a search bar, where I can enter the parameter's name and hit enter to jump to the fitting line. Repeat this process for the other three parameters as well. After adjusting all parameters, save the changes with Ctrl plus O and exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. Other required programs. PHP isn't the only program required to run WordPress. That's why we need to install additional programs like Apache 2 as our web server and a database software. This can be done with this single command. Setting up a database. Now it's time to set up a database for our WordPress instance. First, log into the database software with this command. You will be prompted to enter your root password. Now create a database with this command. And create a user with this command. Now adjust some permissions with this command. Flush the privileges with this command and exit the database software with this command. Deleting the placeholder file. Before we proceed with downloading the WordPress files, let's quickly delete the placeholder website that our web server created. This is done with the following command. Downloading the WordPress files. Now it's time to download the WordPress files. This can be done using this command. Now unzip the archive with this command. If you want, you can remove the zip archive now because it's no longer needed. This can be done with this command. Now let's move the unzip WordPress folder to its correct position with this command. Adjusting folder permissions. In order for the web server to access the WordPress files, we'll need to adjust a few folder permissions. This can be done with these three commands.
Setting up a reverse proxy. To tell our web server where our WordPress instance is located, we will set up a reverse proxy. To do so, we need to create a config with this command and paste in the following content. You can find this template in our blog post. Now I just need to replace the email and domain line with values which apply to my configuration and my email address. I will save the document with Ctrl plus O and exit the editor with Ctrl plus X. Now let's activate our config with this command. In order for all changes to take effect, we need to restart our whole web server with this command. Installing an SSL certificate. To make data transfer more secure, I will install an SSL certificate using the CertBot. With this method, you can generate free certificates which are valid for 90 days. To install the CertBot, use this command. Now just run the program with this command and select your domain by typing in the matching number and choose to auto redirect by choosing option 2 in the next menu. Now it's time to finish the installation via browser. Finishing the installation via browser. To finish the installation, I will enter my domain in the URL bar of my browser. After clicking on Let's Go, the installation wizard prompts me to insert the details of my database we've created a few minutes ago. After clicking on Submit, the inserted credentials will be checked. If everything has been entered correctly, we can click on Run the installation. Now it's time to provide some more information. Set a site title and create an admin account. Now hit install WordPress. This window will confirm that WordPress has been installed successfully on your server. Click on Login to log in with the credentials you've set earlier. Congrats! Your WordPress instant is set up and running. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any further tutorials.